So now we'll continue with descriptic programming with VB scripting and QTP expert view. We have written the first code for opening a browser and navigating to facebook.com. Let's close the browser. So if I run this again, just to recap, it'll open a browser and navigate to Facebook. If I want to perform an invalid login by putting some values here and some values here, if I want to do those steps without recording them, so to do that, let me hit enter and go to the next line to go to three. So the code we have to write in order to write in this edit box, this web edit box here, before we write the code, we have to know the properties and the values of this particular object, this particular web edit box. So how do we know the properties and values of this particular web edit box? We discussed before that we can use Object Spy. The little man with the hat, click on Object Spy, then this hand sign, and click on this email ID box. So we can see this is a web edit. The type of object is web edit, of this object is web edit and it has different properties and values. The class of this object is input text. The HTML ID is email. HTML ID is email. The HTML tag is input. The kind is single line and so on. These are the properties and values that we can use to write our code in descriptic programming in Quick Test Professional. So if we want to do that, so this web edit is located under a browser. Actually, it's under a page. And that page is under a browser. So if we click on the hand sign and click on that again, we'll see that. We can see that the parent object is the browser, and then we have the page. Inside the page, we have a web table. And under the web table, we have this web edit, which is this item right here. So there are different ways of writing descriptive programming in QTP. I'll show you a few ways, and then I'll show you the easiest, fastest way of creating descriptive programming and describing objects without wasting a lot of time. Because again, you want to be able to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible. First, I'll show you a couple of ways of doing it so that when you see that in the future, you'll recognize the type of descriptive programming being used. You really don't have to know all those ways of doing it, but you do need to know the easiest and fastest way. In our next video, we'll continue writing our first descriptive program for this web edit box and explore different ways of performing descriptic programming. Thank you.